So really, it's it's one of those kind of odd things because you sit on the promotion list for like a year and a half and you're like, oh, okay, it's gonna come, it's gonna come, and all of a sudden it comes, right? So uh, I wanted to do it super low key, not a big deal, and then they talked me into, hey, you know, it's a big deal, you're going from captain to field grade, uh, your family, actually this is the first promotion that my family's been able to attend. My wife has attended one ceremony, my family actually hasn't because uh, I've either been deployed or moving and, and they're never where I'm getting promoted. So for them, it's kind of a neat opportunity. Uh, for me, in case you don't know, right, I have 20 years in, right? So I had 10 years enlisted time. So I've got a lot of experience and I had no clue what to expect at West Point, right? I'd never ever heard about this place, never knew about it until Colonel w Wilson, who was at the time Major Wilson, uh, was my commander down in Afghanistan and said, hey, you like working out? I got a perfect job for you. All right, so I, put in my application and kind of shot it off thinking, ah, they're not going to take me. I'm not a West Pointer. I don't know. Luckily, I got picked up. And I remember the first day I got here and Colonel Guest sits all the armos down and says, hey, William, what do you want to do? All I knew is I wanted to teach. You give me any subject and let me teach it. I'm happy, right? So when, whenever I get out of the Army, that's what I'm going to do, education, right? So hopefully I have taught you guys something. And if I haven't, that's okay, because hot rod, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you able to keep it going, right? Uh, but I really challenge you guys, right? Every single day is a new day, right? So Mike Fortune probably gets annoyed at me because every single day I come in, and I always tell him, today's gonna be a great day. And he's like, oh, whatever. It may be, it might not be. <laughs> but I truly believe that, because every single morning, you have an opportunity to do something great. And it's really how you wake up and how you go about your business is gonna determine how your day goes. Believe it or not, no one can influence the way you're feeling better than you. So if you take that positive aspect into your life and you use that each day, I guarantee every day is going to be a great day. Now, some are going to be greater than others. I'm not saying there aren't bad days, but even the bad, it's only like a couple seconds, or maybe a couple minutes of that day that are bad. So don't dwell on that, right? Move past that. Um, and the other thing I want to talk about is make sure you're making a team, right? So I try my best to do the best possible for my teammates, right? And I would be remiss not to thank some of them that are here today, right? So boxing team, thank you for coming, right? It means a lot to me, men and women. We are one team, and I'm glad you guys were able to escape. And I did promise you guys there is food in the back. So you'll be able to eat, right? It's all for now. I do want to thank Dan Kelly. He's my teammate down there in supply, helping me look good by getting stuff ordered. Mel, uh, also my teammate down in supply. She's sick right now, but. I'll thank her when she gets back. But without it, all the stuff I promised you guys to get wouldn't happen without Dan and Mel making it happen. I just promise it and they make it deliver, right? It's a little trick. I think majors do that a lot. They promise and then they let someone else deliver, right? My boxing committee teachers that I teach with, Eric, Brian, Anita, uh, Artie, Sue, and Coach Brown, who's traveling with the team, they make me look good. Kim Nagy helps make me look good, right? So I appreciate that because as a team, we're better. Right? I couldn't do it all by myself, and I really hope you guys understand that you can't succeed in the Army doing it by yourself. Uh, and the last thing I just want to say is thank you to my family. Right? So I'm not going to talk about that because I'm going to start crying, which is why I'm going to cry. <laughs> but uh, what are we, 17 years now? I've been together with uh, my boo. Uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> And honestly, I, without her, I wouldn't be here, right? When she met me, I was just a specialist and I was on my way out of the Army. I was gonna go out, I was gonna go to college. I was, had done my four years, I was gonna get out and go to college. And she had better plans for me, right? The second she saw me, she told her friend she was gonna marry me. And sure enough, we got married. And from that point on, she has made sure that I continue to move, right? Anytime I'm like, oh, I've, I've, I've reached the pinnacle, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. She's like, well, what if you did this? Oh, okay, right? <laughs> so I highly suggest, not, not saying you need to go get a boo for yourself, but you need to have somebody that's going to keep pushing you forward, right? And I don't know if you noticed the giant up here, but that's my son. <laughs> He's my workout partner, right? Now, he will tell you he is now squatting more than me. It happens. He's also taller than me. It happens, right? But he helps kind of keep me grounded. He helps focus me to make sure hey, I'm still pushing. My daughter is the creative one. She's also one that keeps me on my toes, right? She tries to outsmart me, tries to trick me. We're working on her timeliness and accuracy for homework right now. So she's always challenging me to kind of think kind of new things. So I, I really hope you guys have that support system because honestly, I wouldn't be up here talking to you guys without it.